Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, I'm coming to you today to show you a twist out that I achieved using Kinky Curly Custard. Kinky Curly Curly cu Curling Custard. <laughs> That's a tongue twister, right? Um, these are my results. I just took it out today. But I really manipulated my hair a lot with the pick, which I wish I didn't do. I need to just keep my hair alone. It was a lot more defined when I first took it out. Um, I'm gonna try to link some pictures after the video to show you what it looked like when I first um, initially took it out the twist. But this is after it's been, the roots been picked out a little bit. So it's, you know. But look at this, you know, you can still see some of the definition in here and it looks so much better than my twist out with the Eco Styler Gel. And this is the back here. And the best part about it is my hair is still soft. Um, when I did my twist out with the Kinky Curly Custard, I believe I did, well no, I didn't co-wash. I shampoo, condition, deep condition, all that stuff like that. And when I got out the shower, I allowed my hair to air dry a little bit because I'm low porosity. So if I try to put anything on my hair when I get out the shower, it'll just sit on top of my hair. So I let my hair dry for maybe about a good 30 minutes. And actually this wants your hair to be damp, soaking wet, but my hair is really, really, really wet when I get out the shower. So I let it, I let it um, dry out a little bit. But I sprayed the Shea Moisture's um, Coconut Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangler on my hair. Um, I already did a tutorial for this, so you can go and check that out. But this, you know, did a good job with me being able to just finger detangle through my hair. Um, and it left it, it left it really soft, like it says, it's extra moisturizing. That is really true. Um, and then after that, I just applied the Kinky Custard. It smells like... It smells like marshmallow but like a synthetic marshmallow you know like of course something like fragrance like it doesn't smell like actual actual marshmallows because marshmallows don't really even have a scent but yeah but this is the consistency of the kinky curly custard it's really jelly and um loose textured but yeah, this is how much I have left after my one use. I was a little heavy handed, but you know, it's still a good amount in there. It's eight ounces and this thing is expensive for this little jar. This was like 16, 17 bucks. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to keep purchasing this thing. I'm cheap. So I might keep this, but this is definitely a staple because this has kept my hair really soft. So I might just have to break my pockets every now and then and pick this up because this did a really, really, really good job with my twist out and it left it really soft, especially with me only using, you know, this with it. Now, throughout the week, um, I did the LCO method and so that could also take a, you know, a reason as to why my hair came out soft. I use um, Shea Moisture's Curling Enhanced Smoothie. Y'all know that's my favorite moisturizer. I used um, the Curling Style Milk as my leave-in. The leave-in. And then with the oil, I just seal with my mixture of oils. And I'm going to do an oil video, a separate oil video, because I told you all I have like a huge collection of oils. And so I'm going to do that in my next video. But yeah, and so I did that. I did the LCO method throughout the whole week. And once I took it out today, you know, this is how it turned out. And like I said, this is, it is really soft. It is really soft. And before I had started picking it out, it was really defined. Like you could really see my curls and you know, I, you know, my hair is 4C. It's not, I, I know certain people say there's like different textures of 4C, I guess, but you know, my, my 4C hair doesn't look like the next person 4C hair, but it is, it doesn't really have a great, um, a great defining curl, you know, unless you do put your hair in like twist, a flat twist or something like that. But it really, it really did do a really good job 
with the eco styler which i'm i made sure i use it all up because i don't like wasting my money but with the eco styler it was like you know it twisted on there but automatically my hair would turn kind of whitish like like it would flake up kind of and it actually did flake up once i took it out when i showed you all my previous video i don't know if you can see it that well but it did flake up and no one likes flakes i don't either so and then also on top of that it left my hair hard it wasn't moisturized and i did the lco method as well all the week and it it absolutely did anything you know by the time i took my hair out it was it wasn't a bone dry but it wasn't as moisturized. It was nowhere near moisturized like how my hair is moisturized right now. Nowhere near. So the flakes plus it being dry plus whatever. I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, it sucks because this was this only cost me like a dollar fifty cent from my beauty supply store. And that would be perfect if this actually was a really good gel for my hair a lot of people love eco styler i see so many people use eco styler but i just don't like it for my hair so you know with this whole kinky curly versus eco styler in my opinion kinky curly custard is the winner uh, i believe it's because it has um horsetail chamomile nettle and marshmallow organic aloe vera juice agave nectar extract vitamin E, potassium sorbate, and natural fragrance. So it has like really good things in here versus um, the Eco Styler. You know, it's just olive oil, other things. My thing is not even on here. I don't know, it must have slipped, it must have came off, but I read the ingredients on there before. It doesn't have any alcohol in it, you know, which is good, but it doesn't have like the good stuff as the Kinky Curly Custard. So, um, let me know what you think, you know, have you used Kinky Curly Custard and Eco Styler? And if you have, which one do you like? You know, which one is your favorite? Leave your opinions, your comments, and everything down below. And, um, I'm just loving my twist out, you guys. <laughs> but I will see you in my next video. Uh, take care. Bye.